Carl here from Games, Brains and Headbang Life, GBHBL.com for sure. And it's horror movie time as we're combining two things I particularly love. It's heavy metal and horror because it's 1989 disaster. That is heavy metal massacre. Now that's, it's no new thing to combine a bit of rock, metal and so on and horror. And I'm not just talking about an actor jumping in here. I'm talking about some of like... More low-budget movies, death metal zombies, uh, punk rock zombies, I think. Uh, pop punk zombies, I think that's what one is called. It's quite a recent review as well, but it's already gone out of my head. These sort of things, they come about often really, really low-budget and often used to showcase a band more than anything else, an indie band, uh, an underground band. It can be a lot of fun. It can be a lot of fun. You know, you can't excuse a lot of the issues with regards to effects, acting and stuff like that if you're having fun and the soundtrack is great. None of that applies here because this is possibly the worst horror movie ever made. We've seen a fair few of what we would call the worst horror movies ever made. Shit on the site. We've even got a collection where it's its own list and you can see what we've ranked as the lowest. There are some pretty terrible entries that have earned that dishonorable score of 0 out of 10. And there's absolutely no denying that Heavy Metal Massacre absolutely joins them. Here's the thing. We don't do negative scores. But if we did... This movie would get one. Yes, it really is that bad. There's just simply no enjoyment to be found here. It's a movie not worth wasting a second of your time with. It's a movie that leaves you with so much regret you ever decided to press play on it. Me, I tend to watch movies all the way through no matter how bad they are because hell... You never know, the ending might be really cool. Or you might get a particularly cool scene that knocks it up a point, knocks up a score here or there, that kind of thing. I never give up on a movie. I, n I wanted to give up on this so, so badly. But I stuck it through to the end, wrote the review on the website, and now I'm talking to you about it here. <laughs> Heavy Metal Massacre is a slasher horror film with very little slashing, very little horror, horrendous visuals and even worse sound. It stars former professional wrestler and movie director Bobby Young aka David DeFalco. That's him, with the hair staring directly into the camera trying to look as cool as possible but coming across like a Motley Crue cover band audition reject. If you make it through the first 10 minutes which consists of a handful of credits uh, Bobby staring into the camera and a deep dive into his heavy metal collection, then bravo. It doesn't get any better than this start. I can't really live in this place. What do you use this room for? I want to chain you up. <laughs> wait a minute, wait. I don't keep bondage. Name your price. Huh? Well, uh, I don't usually... Well, it'll cost you triple. There's no plot. There is next to no plot. This is a movie about Bobby Young, and that is it. Who needs a story when you've got Bobby to look at? He's a killer. He's going to bars to pick up women, taking them back to his apartment and killing them. The women fawn over how cool he is. He shows them his apartment, and they fawn over how cool that is. Then he awkwardly... And wow, do I mean awkwardly spew some dialogue and they fawn over how cool his drugs are before ending up as his victim. It is painful to watch. This. But 
even more painful to listen to. The crappy audio made worse by the glam metal soundtrack that plays over everything non-stop. And we're not talking good music here at all. We're talking about music that, you know, it'd be playing like on the background in a club and you'd just be, you wouldn't be paying much attention until suddenly it picks up in your ear and you'd say to your pal, your partner, your brother, sister, whatever, this is a bit crap, isn't it? That's the kind of music that's playing over this film. To make matters worse, the film is all over the place and feels more like a collection of home recordings than a thought-out, well-paced movie. Even the stuff that should and could make it mildly interesting are absent from this. There's next to no visual violence and gore. The few times some does crop up, the effects are so bad, you'll be wishing to go back to showing you nothing, because at least you didn't have to subject your eyes to the rubbish. <laughs> Eighty-three minutes of this, and for what? For the movie to end so abruptly, they must have run out of tape in the canvas and just thought, screw it, that's the movie. Now, we know how this goes. You might be reading this and thinking, this is a movie you have to see. It surely can't be that bad. Maybe it's a so bad it's good movie. Trust us, it is not. If you watch it, you will regret it. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on GBHBL.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash GBHBL as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for?